If you're working in Scottish agriculture or thinking about it, then the Farm Advisory Service, FAS for short, is here to help. The goal of FAS is to provide information and resources on how to increase profitability and sustainability of farms and crofts across Scotland. This video focuses on the one-to-many side of the FAS programme. There is also a one-to-one -one side of the programme advising on a range of grants for integrated land management plans, carbon audits, specialist advice and mentoring. Co-funded by the EU and Scottish Government, it's been running since 2016 and has received overwhelmingly positive feedback. FAS connects you to expert consultants, academics and other farmers and agricultural workers like yourself with the goal of keeping you up to date on what's happening in Scottish agriculture and how others are responding to the different challenges facing the sector. Here are a few examples of some of our videos. The benefits of woodland pasture and, and why it's important to, to farmers is it's very easily grazed, it's very uh, exposed for, for, for livestock, there's no real access issues and these trees are robust enough that it's very difficult for livestock to, to do any real damage to them at this point. I started here at Nelagaro uh, in October 2018. The reason I came here is because Farming Partners has a track record of offering uh, young people opportunity within agriculture. So the main benefits I've found when using the auto drench gun is that we are dozing to weight, to the exact weight of the animal, therefore we're not over or under dozing. We're not causing resistance in our herd and we're also saving money. Mentoring is really beneficial to anybody that's starting up, whether it's in farming or in a business. It's a way of accessing a lot of information which is not always easy to come by in a book. Spring calving dairy herds are particularly reliant on grazed grass. On these systems, when things get tough, often in the shoulders of the year, changes need to be made. On-off grazing systems and standoff pads are important tools to make use of grazed grass when times get tough. Soil texture is the relative composition of sand, silt and clay of the mineral part in a soil. So with sand being the coarsest part of the soil texture classes, you can usually see it um, in your soil sample or you can feel it with your hands. Silt is the middle class and clay is the smallest particle size. The work happening behind me is a registration level activity. The reason it's a registration is because the water course is between one and five meters of width. It's been previously channelized or engineered in one way and it's mostly man-made ditch. Predictions show an increase in temperature and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We're likely to see changes in the crops that we grow and the systems that we grow them in. Shifting this bunch of cows and calves, it's the last shift before weaning time. As you can see we've got these quiet wean paddles in the noses of the calves to stop them suckling. Still getting a bit of comfort from their mum so hopefully it should ease the, the burden on them to weaning rings. FAS is for everyone, whoever they are and wherever they are in Scotland. Regardless of your geography, scale of your business, or the type of business, we can offer support and advice. Almost all of these services are entirely free to the consumer. The FAS site acts as a hub for all of the resources we produce, from the fundamentals of farming to more granular, technical advice, soft skills and future planning. Furthermore, we also cater to different learning styles and present our information in a range of different formats, including podcasts, videos, written documents, graphics, and articles. To help you quickly find the information you need, the website is broken up into sections. These are livestock, crops and soils, environment, rural business, and discussion groups. Each section is filled with useful information and there are many different branches and subjects for you to explore. But if you can't find the information you're looking for on the FAS site, you can contact the helpline directly and we'll be put in touch with an expert who can help you out. The Farm Advisory Service continues to develop further needs-led resources based on the demands and interests of Scottish agriculture and modern farming. These include the recently relaunched FAS Companion app, which aims to put the many different tools used by farmers on a daily basis in one easy to access place, and the upcoming online video series FAS TV, which will put farmers at the forefront of important knowledge and skills transfer in a format we're all familiar with. If you have any questions about FAS, please visit the website or contact the helpline and we'll do what we can to help. Thank you.